My name is Richard Wilson and I'm an international award-winning artist. I've had a lot of accomplishments and one of the biggest ones was when I made history here in North Carolina. I became the first African-American artist to ever have a painting hang in any courthouse in the state of North Carolina. When I did the portrait of George Henry White, who was the last former slave to become a congressman. Another one of my famous paintings is called 44. It's a painting I did to commemorate President Obama's first inauguration. I knew a lot of artists were gonna do paintings of President Obama, but I wanted to do a painting that represented the people who lived through the struggle for him to be in the White House. And so um, I did a painting of my neighbor. I saw him sitting on his porch and I was like, oh my God, that's a painting right there. So I took out my telephoto lens and I zoomed in on him. And then I went and found an old house and I drew him in front of that house and put the flag behind the door and I gave him the house number 44. Art has allowed me to travel the country and share my story of becoming a full-time artist and inspire others to try to follow whatever their dream is. When I was coming up, I mean, I didn't see a lot of African-Americans in museums or in art history books and stuff like that. And now I'm able to put those images out there. And as I travel and do these shows, um, I see people there are so inspired to see my work, not just African-Americans, but other races are happy to see this type of work. I started this series called Shadow, My Shadow Series, where it has like these trailblazers in the background and then have the children in the front. I started doing these pieces so that young people can see that they can dream big right where they are and, you know, change the world. You don't have to have a lot to be able to change the world. You just have to believe in yourself.